Hello fellow fish nerds and happy Fry Friday to you. This Fry Friday video actually contains fry. Cue the fireworks and applause. Now, on the screen right in front of you, to the right of the empty white ram's horn shell, and just below the, the leaf, you might see some tiny movement and those are the Epistogramma cockatoides yellow flash fry. This mother is doing a great job. She's keeping the male away. They're right next to her pectoral fins right now, right next to that shell. I noticed uh, Monday and Tuesday that they were wigglers. And I've been meaning to go home and get my brine shrimp hatchery to bring it in for them. But I keep on forgetting. It's got to go up in the attic and get it. I know it's up there. I've already got the brine shrimp eggs and the salt mix and everything. I've already got the two liter plastic bottle cut and ready to go. I just got to bring it in and attach it to an airline. Luckily, I have micro worms and banana worms in my classroom. You'll see right now the mother is collecting the fry and she just put a few on top of the leaf. They're hopefully getting some microorganisms off the leaf. That's one of the benefits of having leaves in your tank, the top of leaves. But in this case, I actually use oak leaves from out of my front yard because I know that they are insecticide and pesticide and herbicide free. So they are fish tank safe. Um, locally sourced, obviously, from my front yard. So it's safe for the fry. So they're eating little tiny microorganisms in the gravel and stuff. And I have fed them uh, two small batches. Uh, I mean, by batches, I mean like what I could get on my finger uh, of microworms. The only problem I ran into there was it tended to attract the attention of the male. And he wanted to come eat the microworms, which stressed the female out a little bit because she thought he was trying to come eat the the babies, which is possible, but more than likely he was going for the the microworms. See, she's got one into her mouth, and she just spit it back out. She is doing a, you know, the usual uh, instinct of taking them on a fry parade and corralling them. See, she just scared the male away. He's trying to come by. You can see that, but their behavior is so cool. Just to watch how she protects the young and keeps the male away and keeps the other pair in here. I'm trying to get them to pair up. When they, the female likes the cave, the male likes the cave. Now if they can just like each other. Um, I do have two other female, three, two other females I can bring back in. See, look, she's scaring away. Like, I don't think so. Stay away, those are my babies. Don't you be going over there. But uh, anyway, I was pretty excited. I had some students that knew about these babies. Obviously, it's pretty widely known across my school. And they actually came in and asked, hey, can we, can we see the babies or can we see the eggs, actually? And I said, yeah, actually, the eggs have hatched and they're free swimming now. Come check them out. And so he came over and uh, looked closely and said, I think I see four of them. And uh, they're still over there. No, I think she has them in her mouth right now. I think the male's making her nervous. So anyways, he counted four of them. I confirmed I saw four of them. Yeah, they're on the leaf, and there's one under the leaf right now. I think she's getting them out of her mouth now. Yep, she's releasing them from her mouth. So I came over, I confirmed there's four of them. And I was a little bit concerned because yesterday I counted about 10 to 12 wigglers that were still attached to the inside of the cave over here. But yet, obviously a lot fewer um, free swimming babies. And I know I'm gonna have a reduction in number each time. So I was kinda like, eh, I guess that's okay. But then I thought about it, I was like, well, you know, I really shouldn't be too, you know, sad that I've lost a few. <clears throat> Because, first off, this is their first spawning. Second off, she's super small, and how many fry do I really think she could fit in her mouth at one time? 
to keep them uh, protected. So I think this is kind of nature's way of giving her only the amount that she can actually handle and take care of and uh, protect. Now, in my previous spawn that I had in my uh, Pistogram of Cockatoides double red uh, pair that bred at home, I separated the babies from the parents and tried to raise them on my own, but I kept on getting an extreme reduction in numbers because of... Uh, I don't even know why, but uh, 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 look, look at that. She's like, I don't think so. Get away from my babies. I think he might have gotten one. I'll have to count and double check. But this is, I mean, she at least knows that she needs to uh, protect them. And so talk to people at the local fish store and local fish club, and they've all said, you know, leave, leave them in there with the parents let them learn how to be parents and go from there what I might do is I might take out the male although the male is keeping the other pair away so he's kind of doing a good job of keeping the other pair on their side of the tank so that makes keep it so the female only has to watch out for the male I'm counting one two three four five I'm still counting five which I think the most I've seen, and I might have miscounted, was seven. So she's doing a good job for the most part of protecting them from the from the male. It's definitely one, two, three. Yeah, it's a you know, I see less sometimes and sometimes I see more. But pretty exciting. I know my students that are gonna come in at my next class are gonna be really excited to see them and they're gonna have a hard time seeing them at first because they don't realize just how small they are because they are really small so I can zoom in not sure if I can yeah I can duh they're right there the movement in the gravel there we go there's one two three right there next to those black rocks She's hiding with her tail right now. But they are really small. There's another one. But I'm really excited to see my students' reaction to these babies and to how small they are and that there's some that are surviving. And it is Water Change Wednesday when I'm filming this video or uh, recording this video. So I know I'll have two students that will actually be asking to do water changes. And that will be the subject matter of my Water Change Wednesday video. It's my automatic water change system. <clears throat> if you haven't seen that video yet, check it out. And I'll hopefully put a link to it in the top right hand corner of this video. And... Uh, on my oh she's blocking the view here something pretty calming about this too so I know the joke was when the, they were pairing off that it was a uh, you know seasons one and two and three of the bachelor I was trying to think of a good parody of for the babies my first thought and this is probably not a very good one but it was I didn't know I was pregnant it was really used to come on think TLC and uh, and uh, it was it was hilarious. I mean, women would have babies that they didn't know they had for nine months. Literally, this one lady had a baby in the toilet. Just like I looked down, and there's a baby. So in this case, it's like, oh, I looked in my tank, and there's babies. Difference is, I knew that there were eggs in here. It wasn't a surprise. Like the first batch I ever had of. Pistogramma fry or Pistogramma spawn. I was shocked that they spawned as quickly as what they did, but I did know that there were. Once I saw them, I did know that I did know that there were babies coming. So I guess it would be a better way to call it is, I didn't know my fish spawned. Hope you all enjoyed this. We found it uh, relaxing, interesting, 
informative. Fun. If you have any questions, uh, comments, uh, ways that I can make this better or an increase fry survival rate, <clears throat> I am sticking pretty firmly to keeping the parents in here. Um, I do want to try that this time. And I know that in future spawns that they'll get larger and larger as the mother will get larger and her mouth will get bigger so that she can hold more babies. But uh, if you have any uh, suggestions to make it better, just let me know. I will be adding brine shrimp to their diet, baby brine shrimp to their diet. Um, I'll bring it in tomorrow. It'll sit for 24 hours. Obviously, they'll hatch, and I'll start feeding them brine shrimp on, I guess, Friday, <clears throat> on the actual Fry Friday. So, anyways, you want to see more updates of these fry or these fish or their future spawns and other other fish of mine, like my super red epistic, not super red, my super red um, bristlenose placos. Once they start spawning, be sure to click that notification bell down below. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so. I'd really love it if you shared my videos or shared my channel on social media. That'd be great. Try the links down below to my t-shirts for my channel. Um, follow me on Instagram at Mr. Science Geek. That that account is growing. Oh, here comes the mail. Come on, don't eat it. Good, good job. The mother got it. That was. Oh, look, she's getting them. He needs to just back off. He's only starting to tick me off a little bit here. But anyway, set the links below to my t-shirts and my uh, Amazon affiliate links doesn't cost you anything extra and it helps to support my channel to get uh, more fish food usually about what I get from most people that click on the links usually gets me a uh, new batch of blood worms or I mean black worms from, live from the local fish store it's usually where that dollar seventy eight goes is buying more live black worms uh, which then goes to help get these epistogramas to breed. The male is trying to scare me off. He's trying to come up to the camera. You might see him come and shot right, right here pretty soon. There he is. <clears throat> but, um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, have a good weekend. I do have a Shrimp Saturday video actually already recorded. Just need to upload it and get it ready for YouTube tags, tags, title, description, etc. So be sure to tune in for that. I'll probably be posting it around noon Eastern time is when it should be scheduled to be published. So be sure to tune in for that. Anyways, stay tuned and stay fishy, people.